Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Mini Kit Guide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to collect every mini kit in the third mission of Attack of the Clones, Droid Factory Frenzy. Before you can collect all of the mini kits, you must unlock free play. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the guide. The first mini kit is going to be available right after you jump down onto the conveyor belt. You will notice that there are these smashers that you have to avoid, but what you need to do for the first mini kit is you need to climb on top of one of the smashers and jump in the air so that you can collect the mini kit. So once you have successfully jumped on top of one of the smashers and jumped into the mini kit, you will have collected the first mini kit of the level. The second mini kit is obtainable right after the part with all of the smashers. When you jump down from that conveyor belt, turn around and you will notice that there is a ladder blocked by a golden obstacle. You need to use a bounty hunter to destroy the gold, and once you have destroyed the gold, head up the ladder. And after you've climbed the ladder on the platform, you will be able to collect the second mini kit. The third mini kit is located on the conveyor belts. You will notice that the mini kit is being hung from a zip line. Using a character that has a blaster, you have to destroy the target on the zip line so that it drops the mini kit. So once you have done that, you will be able to collect the third mini kit. The fourth mini kit is located in the area where you originally have to use C3PO and R2D2 to progress through the level. You will notice that there is a conveyor belt arm trying to paint a picture. When the arm paints a picture of the mini kit, shoot the canvas and you will be able to collect the fourth mini kit. And the final mini kit in this level is located near the conveyor belts. You will notice that there is a section that you need to blow up with a grenade. So that means you need to use a villain character because villains can use grenades to blow up silver objects. So once you have blown up this area, you will notice that you will have access to another conveyor belt. Head on over to the other conveyor belt that you just opened and you will notice that the mini kit is stuck. Now, using a hero, bounty hunter, or astromech droid, you need to use the robot ability that each of those character classes have to pull the mini kit free. And once you have done that, you will have collected the final mini kit in this level. So now that you have all of the mini kits, you need to finish the level so you can save your progress. And when you collect every mini kit in this level, you unlock the Jedi Starfighter Micro Starship. And you can use this Micro Starship to travel across the galaxy. Anyways guys, that is it for this LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Guide. If you found this video to be comprehensive, straight to the point, and useful, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world. May the force be with you, always.